It's a flyweight matchup between Henry Cejudo and Juicy A. Formiga. All right, so here he is, one of the better offensive takedown guys we have in the UFC DC. And if anyone is well equipped to speak to this, it is you. The opponent knows what's coming, at least to this point in the UFC, no one's been able to stop. He just has to keep him away. Because the moment this guy gets close enough to either grab a leg or make body contact, right. now you're in trouble. He has a knowledge and an understanding of position from a lifetime of just all grappling, judo, wrestling, uh, Sambo, he does it all, and he has just so many ways to get you to the floor. This guy once told me that if you can get your leg, he's going to finish. Right. Because he's going to give you so many things to think about, you will not be able to process and keep up with him, and eventually you're on the mat. It's unbelievable to watch him apply that knowledge to the mixed martial arts fight. And as the wrestlers say, this is not a guy you want anywhere near your bracket. No, you don't want him in the bracket. All right, so here is the UFC champion, Henry Cejudo, took Olympic gold in Beijing back in 2008. This man is a winner in every sense of the word. He's an absolute winner, and he did win in 2008. But I say go back to 2007. When we walked into the world championship in Azerbaijan, Henry Cejudo was 34 of 35 guys in the weight class. Fast forward a year ahead, Amazing. he's the Olympic champion. But then that applies to Demetrius Johnson. He got beat by DJ the first time, knocked out in one round. Fast forward three years, he beats him by decision and becomes the UFC champion. Henry Cejudo is just a winner. And in a lot of respects, just getting started. We'll see how it goes for the messenger here tonight. Our tale of the tape for this flyweight fight. Cejudo is 33, Formiga is 35. He will have a three inch reach advantage. We send it inside the octagon, Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC flyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a jiu-jitsu fighter holding a professional record of 23 wins, 8 losses. He stands 5 feet 5 inches tall, weighing in at 125 pounds. Fighting out of the tall Brazil, Juscia Formiga! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a Greco-Roman wrestler holding a professional record of 16 wins, 2 losses. He stands 5 feet 4 inches tall, weighing in at 125 pounds. Fighting out of Phoenix, Arizona, Henry the Messenger Zahudo! And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. Herb Dean, our third man in the octagon for this one. Ready. All right, so here we go with round one. It is not a question of if, it's a question of when this fight hits the ground. You've got a grappler, a Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt. Most people think we're going to get a grappler's delight tonight. Yes, we are going to get a grappler's delight, but for the Jiu-Jitsu player, for the Jiu-Jitsu fighter, he cannot allow for himself to constantly be on his back. Because in the grappling room, not only do these guys possess great submission skills, but the ground and pound. The advancements in the position is so key to the game. He has to make sure he's not thinking this is a jiu-jitsu match. This oh, nice is job a to fight. the takedown and scramble to his feet. And the takedown attempt. Quick level change. Oh, he see. went single. Well, Tia hit outside this dude. Oh. Big slam takedown. That was beautiful. Cejudo's pass is denied. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Pretty good ground and pound by him here. He told us on Thursday he needed to be more effective in these situations. Certainly effective tonight. Many people have gone away from this style of fighting. This man has embraced it, and you are seeing why he's one of the best that we've seen do it in a long time. Fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape DC. Well, hard to win fights in mixed martial arts from the bottom, but nice work here in that position by Formi. Sound strike on the ground. Oh, nice job to reverse position on the ground. He's gonna start looking to try to attack a rear naked choke, and that's exactly what he's doing. 
Oh, for Omega, not a guy you want anywhere near your back. One of the best rear naked chokes in MMA history. guy wants to submit you. He is the best grappler, best submission specialist we've seen in a long time. So there he is, your winner by submission. That is a finish they will likely be talking about for some time. Big win, major statement made to the rest of this division. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going south in this contest at 1 minute 58 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by tap out, Jusia Well, the celebration is on in his corner and hard to blame these guys, sort of waiting to exhale, get a huge win tonight, and not just the win, but they get it by submission. They knew what they had in front of them. They knew how tough a competitor his opponent was, but they also knew that if they could get this fight to the ground, they could find a submission. They found a submission. He got his hand raised in the way that he loves the most.